Hello dear friends, I am Durga Berry, working as Assistant Professor in Biochemistry. We will discuss today about the structural polysaccharides. As we know that the structural polysaccharides are intended to give structure and shape and the examples what we are going to discuss today are cellulose, chitin and pectin. Okay, let's move ahead and discuss about the cellulose. The cellulose, the structural polysaccharide in plants mainly and it is one of the abundant organic material in nature important constituent of all the fibrous plants of plants and let me tell you it is a homoglycon glycon means a polysaccharide homo means it is a homopolysaccharide and this homopolysaccharide is made of d glucose units d glucose units and these d glucose units are present in beta d structure beta d glucose units this cellulose it is hydrolyzed by strong acids and it is resistant to acids but it is hydrolyzed by strong acids let us go into the structure of cellulose yes cellulose is a high molecular weight polysaccharide and this cellulose is made of glucose units which are linked by beta 1 4 glycosidic bond that means on hydrolysis cellulose gives rise to cellobiose which is a disaccharide so cellobiose structure we already know that two glucose units are joined by beta 1 4 linkages it is just the linear structure and there are no branched it is unbranched linear structure the X-ray analysis shows that the cellulose is composed of bundles of parallel cellulose chains and the average molecular weight it would be around 5,70,000 Daltons hence it is a very high molecular weight compound. Let's draw the structure of cellulose which is a high molecular weight and remember we have to draw the beta 1 4 glycosidic bonds let us put the number of carbons 1 2 3 4 fifth carbon and this is the sixth carbon let's also draw the atoms as it is the beta 1 4 glycosidic bond here it is the beta d glucose units let me tell you and if it is joined to the next sugar the next sugar would be it is also in beta d glucose unit likewise these are the atoms and let's draw the glycosidic bond the glycosidic bond is formed between this is the fourth carbon and this is the first carbon the glycosidic bond is formed between the first carbon and the fourth carbon of another glucose unit let's draw it this glycosidic bond it is beta 1 4 linkage as it is covering first carbon of one glucose and fourth carbon of another glucose and it is a polymer hence we will draw this we will continue to draw this polymer in this fashion so we, I am directly drawing this beta 1 4 linkage followed by another glucose unit which is also in beta configuration and another glucose unit and another glucose unit likewise the chain extends and everywhere we can write this fill these structures and now we could be able to draw the structure of cellulose which is a homopolysaccharide and 
the linkage between the two glucose units is beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. It is very easy to draw the structure of cellulose because it is a linear polymer of glucose. And the X-ray analysis shows that it is composed of parallel bundles. That means this is one fiber of cellulose, another fiber of cellulose, another fiber of cellulose. Like that, there will be a number of fibers of cellulose which are arranged parallelly. Let's see some of the properties of cellulose. It is insoluble in water, but soluble in concentrated acids and ammonium bases. The nitrocellulose used in the manufacture of explosives. Likewise, other important properties or uses are cellulose acetate is used in making photographic films, rayon, which is a fabric, and plastic. And this cellulose, it does not react with iodine. To mention these are, this is about the structure and properties of cellulose. Let's discuss the second homopolysaccharide, structural homopolysaccharide, which is nothing but uh, the chitin. Chitin is the structural polysaccharide found in the skeleton of arthropods and it is also found in the exoskeleton of crustaceans and insects and it is widely distributed in nature and it is always combined with the proteins and as you know it is a homopolysaccharide. This homopolysaccharide is made of N-acetyl glucosamine. Let's see what is N-acetyl glucosamine. If this is the sugar, the glucose unit, and I am drawing this in beta, this is the sixth carbon. As this is beta, I'm putting this OH group above. Let's number them to third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth, and this is the sixth carbon. This is nothing but the D-glucose unit. Now here in this chitin, there is N-acetyl glucosamine. Amino group usually comes here at the second position. Now here when we put instead of OH, if we put NH2, it is nothing but glucosamine. This is the structure of glucosamine. Now here in, in case of chitin, it is told that it is N-acetyl glucosamine. And what is the acetyl group? It is COCH3 group is known as acetyl group, which is attached to the amino group. Thereby it forms N-acetyl glucosamine. Let's see how to draw this N-acetyl glucosamine. It is very simple. Just beside this NH, we need to keep COCH3. It becomes N-acetyl D-glucosamine. So this is the repeating unit. This sugar, it is the repeating unit in case of chitin. Let's draw the structure of repeating units of this chitin. Remember, this is in the beta configuration so that the OH group is above the plane. Let's draw the structure of chitin and it is very, very easy structure. Just go on drawing this skeleton which you know that this is CH2OH and here it is the beta and there would be 1,4 glycosidic linkage. So here the chain is extending and it is a H, OH, H and here it is NH, CO, CH3. This is the repeating unit and this first carbon C1 carbon is linked to another glucose unit via beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage actually there is OH group here this is the fourth carbon and let me draw for this also here H OH and it is H OH and here it is again the chain continues like this. Let's draw for this one. As it is beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage, 
and the linkage is formed between C1 of one glucose and C4 of another glucose as the sugar is in beta it is called as beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage and this linkage it continues let's draw quickly how we can represent this glucosamine structure and here remember at the second carbon it would always be NH NH CO CH3 this, this is the continuous unit in all the sugars and again this is beta 1 4 linkage let's draw this beta 1 4 linkage and another sugar of beta D glucose and beta 1 4 linkage another beta D glucose and then 1 4 linkage and this linkage continuous and if we fill this one it is a CH2OH above and here it is at the second carbon it is always NHCO CH3 just remember this you can write the structure of chitin very well NHCO CH3 this is the structure of chitin just filling one or two sugars it is enough that you know the structure of this chitin and what we have drawn is nothing but the structure of chitin where here it represents the beta 1 4 unit each and every glucose unit which is n acetyl glucosamine is linked to the next glucose by n acetyl glucosamine units when we see this particular linkage we remember the structure of cellulose in all aspects except that in case of cellulose it is beta d glucose units which are repeated and in case of chitin they are n acetyl beta d glucosamine units which is the repeating unit except that it is the similar in the structure of cellulose and this chitin it is highly resistant to the action of bacteria that's all about chitin okay let's discuss few important points about the pectin pectin represents the substances which form jellies in the presence of sugar all those which form jellies comes under category of pectin and it is especially found in the pulp of citrus fruits apples beets and carrots they are the rich source of uh, this uh, pectin and commercially this pectin it is uh, prepared from the apple pomes and lemons. it is usually this pectin is usually combined with the cellulose in the cell wall so the along with the cellulose cell wall pectin is also present and this pectin it is released from the cell wall by the mild hydrolysis where it is converted into soluble pectin this soluble pectin it is boiled with a dilute acid and it is slowly hydrolyzed into pectic acid and methyl alcohol in the presence of dilute alkali the pectin is quickly decomposed into alkali pectate and methyl alcohol so methyl alcohol is the main source in the pectin which can be isolated from where we get a purified pectin which yields about 10 to 12 percent of methyl alcohol and pectin is methyl ester of pectic acid what is pectin remember this pectin is methyl ester of pectic acid and what is pectic acid pectic acid is a chain of around 200 units of alpha 14 d galacturonic acid remember these two lines it is very important to understand the what is pectin pectin is nothing but the methyl ester of pectic acid and what is pectic acid it is around 200 units of alpha 14 galacturonic acid let's draw this alpha 14 galacturonic acid and remember this is 14 alpha 14 galacturonic acid chain is extending and just we will write this is the sixth carbon remember it is uronic acid that means uronic acid means it is always COOH here sixth carbon it would be 
COOH instead of CH2OH and this is galacturonic acid galacturonic acid okay look here this is nothing but galacturonic acid alpha d galacturonic acid and here in this particular case it is the sixth carbon is COOH so it is uronic acid and this sugar is galactose so it is galacturonic acid here we will now see how the linkage is formed between 1,4 linkage uh, here this is the OH group which is involved in the glycosidic linkage formation and this also this is the first carbons hydroxyl group and this is the OH group of another galactose and in between them the linkage is formed and actually this linkage is nothing but alpha 14 linkage why it is alpha 14 means the sugars are in the alpha configuration so just we will replicate the above structure in number of units that becomes the alpha d galacturonic acid if it is around 200 units it forms the pectin so to write the structure of pectin we just need to draw like this and here the chain extends this is i will draw this carbons later this is one four alpha one four glycosidic linkage and this is another galactose galacturonic acid alpha 14 glycosidic linkage and this is another galacturonic acid and likewise this is another alpha 14 glycosidic linkage another galacturonic acid and the chain it proceeds now let's see how can we represent the carbons around this this is always COOH and here no need to draw hydrogen but uh, it is okay if uh, we have drawn and here it is a hydrogen it is a hydrogen and it is OH just replicate to all the other H and here OH and it is H and H it is COOH it is a hydrogen and it is OH and this linkage let me tell you this linkage is alpha 14 glycosidic linkage which is present in the galactose between the galactose units then this becomes the pectic acid pectic acid then what is pectin we came to know that the pectin is methyl ester of pectic acid what we have drawn this is nothing but the structure of this pectic acid around 200 units of uh, alpha 14 galacturonic acid if we put just the ester methyl ester ch3 then it is nothing but esterified pectic acid which is nothing but now we can call its name as a pectin now it becomes pectin for gelation around 65 to 70 percent of sugar is mixed with 0.2 to 0.7 percent of pectin and the ph which is to be between 3.2 to 3.5 this thereby here it becomes gelated or we get a gel like structure large amounts of pectin are used in the fruit industry and for other purposes what we discussed here it is nothing but the soluble pectin but a number of insoluble pectins are also available which are useless for gelation and remember for pectin you have to remember only two terms one is pectin Pectin is nothing but methyl ester of pectic acid. Pectic acid is nothing but 200 units of alpha 14 galacturonic acid residues, and that is about pectin. And in this short session, we have covered around three important structural polysaccharides, which are cellulose, chitin and pectin cellulose is b12 
beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage between D glucose beta D glucose units and parallel chains chitin is also beta 1 4 glycosidic linkage but here in chitin there is n acetyl glucosamine the repeating unit is n acetyl glucosamine in case of pectin it is Galacturonic acid around 200 units of galacturonic acid which are esterified and the linkage is alpha 1 4 linkage That's all about the structural polysaccharides in carbohydrates We will meet with another important video in the next session till then bye bye Don't forget to subscribe and like